Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I will be doing my everyday makeup, what I would usually wear for work. Um, even though I won't be going back anytime soon, I figured I would do it anyways. And I'm in a new location as well. I have taken over our dining room. I thought I would take advantage of the natural sunlight today. But I'm gonna stop talking and get started. My everyday makeup sometimes changes depending on how much time I have and what mood I'm in. But most of the time, this is what I'll do. I've moisturized my face and I'm gonna apply the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to any blemishes and red spots that need to be covered. So I've just covered whatever I thought needed to be covered. And on most days, I will not wear foundation. I'll just like to let my skin breathe as much as possible, but I'm just gonna blend it out like so. And also, it's a little bit faster just using the concealer and not having to do primer and foundation and all of that. I'm just gonna add it to my eyelids. So that was the first step. I'm just gonna see if I need to go in a second time. I sometimes have to. Today I have two big blemishes that I decided to pick out right before filming. So that was great. Good job, Emily. But you know, I'm just gonna cover it up. Okay, already looking much better. For bronzer, I'm using my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer and just a big Morphe brush. And I just apply it to my cheeks, my jawline, and my forehead. Like so. And I just do that until I'm satisfied with the look. And for blush, I'm using the Too Faced Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blush. It looks like this. It has shimmer in it as well. So I use it as both a blush and a highlight. To skip a step and save time in the morning. And sometimes I switch it up and use the Becca Jaclyn Hill uh, palette where I have a few blushes in it as well. And I also add a little bit to my nose. And I just go over it with a powder brush with nothing on it, just to blend it a little bit. So that was the face and sometimes if I'm in the mood I'll add a little more highlight. We'll see at the end what I think. Um, but now it's time for eyeshadow and I'm using the Violet Voss Holy Grail uh, eyeshadow. This is my most used eyeshadow palette for neutral looks. And um, I'm just gonna go in with Transition and Bestie. And I'm just applying it on a big blending brush and I'm starting with Transition and just adding that to the whole lid. We are not doing anything too fancy when it's just for work, but I just want a bit of color on my eyelid. I'm just making sure that the whole lid is covered. What I really like about this look is that it's super easy and takes no time, but it still looks like I put a lot of effort into it. I work in the shipping industry and honestly, I think I could go to work without makeup and no one would notice because I work mostly around men and yeah, I have no clue what even goes on my face, so. But I do it anyways, just because I like to. And now I'm just gonna go in with Bestie and darken my outer corner a little bit. They look very similar, so it's not gonna be that big of a change. As you can tell, very simple, very quick. And I'm just gonna do a little bit on my lower lash line to tie it all together. I've been doing so many colorful looks 
that I need to see if I can find a brush for my lower line that's not full of pink eyeshadow. Okay, got one. And I'm just gonna go in with Best because that's the darkest one of the two. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I cannot apply like mas uh, mascara or anything on my lower lash line or lashes without opening my mouth. So I'm sorry if I look stupid. <laughs> After eyeshadow, I like to go in with a dark brown eyeliner and just line my lash line. And I'm just using the NYX Professional Makeup Eye Pencil. I might need to do this off camera because I think I need both my hands. Okay, I'll be back. I'm back and I did the eyeliner on top of my lash line. And before I do mascara, I like to do my eyebrows. And I'm just using my eyebrow pencil and the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel. <laughs> it's a long name. And I just fill in my brows. And I tinted them or dyed them um, recently so they don't need as much as they usually would. And this is the step that usually will take me the longest because I'll never be satisfied with my brows. But you know, we're just filling them in. Then I just take my spoolie and comb them through. And then the brow gel. I always start at the end because there's a lot of gel on it and it dries really fast. So just start at the end where I want them darker and I just slightly and very lightly touch the brow hairs. And I try to brush them upwards. So I started doing this whole look because my best friend Sarah did it on me once and I loved it so much and I've just been doing it ever since. So yeah, I miss you Sarah. Sarah lives in the US and I live in Denmark so we don't see each other that often, which is very sad. Um, but hopefully when this whole coronavirus is over, I'll get to see her and her lovely family again. I'm, I miss you all so much. <laughs> but now brows are done and it's time for mascara. And I'm just going to use my Max Factor Lash Revival. At first I honestly hated this mascara because the brush is so big, but I've grown to love it. And before this mascara, I would never use any other than the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. I've been using that for years now. I love it so much. But this one is, is uh, it's growing on me. You know what I just realized? I forgot to curl my eyelashes. Oh, it happens. <laughs> um, oh well. They still look good. I finished applying the mascara and today I'm feeling a little highlight too. So I'm going to go in my Becca Jaclyn Hill palette and let me open it first. And I'm going to be using Champagne Pop, which is that one. I'm just going to apply a little bit because I already have shimmer from the blush. I'm just going to do it on the nose as well. And then I'll just add whatever lip balm I have laying around and I'll go to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe found some inspiration for your own everyday makeup. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later. Bye!